Here in Boston, security is increased at the airport and train stations, and the concern about college students studying abroad in Europe is way up. Boston University sponsors a number of study abroad programs, and BU TV reporter Natalie Robson has this live report about the reaction. Thanks, Elizabeth. We are live at Boston University near the study abroad office. Today we spoke to official Colin Riley, who is our media relations official, that said that all programs scheduled this summer for study abroad will resume as scheduled. Currently, there are no changes to the study abroad program going out of BU. Today, students spoke out. Boston University has study abroad programs in 30 cities across six continents, almost half of these programs taking place in Europe. I actually had thought about studying in Belgium because I actually have family from there, but now I think that it doesn't deter me completely from studying abroad, but more the location is something I'm going to be more aware of choosing. Despite the violent terrorist outbreaks in Belgium, as well as in Paris last November, students are not letting this deter them from furthering their education overseas. It's more important to, to go to these countries and, and say that we're not going to let this stop us from, from um, learning and, and keeping our lives going. Three Quinnipiac students survived the attack on the Brussels airport. The girls were on spring break in Belgium during their study abroad program in Ireland. Although students don't plan on changing their decision to study abroad, they might consider changing the country they study in. really have to be sure that where I go is somewhere that's going to be safe, and also not just for me, but for my family to be totally okay with me being there and not have to be on their toes wondering if everything's going to be okay. BU students say the only thing you can do is be cautious. Be aware of your surroundings and be smart about where you go and just, you know, just always be cognizant of where you are and who you're around and those kind of things. And if you ever feel unsafe, just go back to where you're staying and anything like that. U.S. travelers are being advised that there are now potential risks while traveling in Europe. Oftentimes, these are areas where a lot of students study abroad. Live from Boston University, I'm Natalie Robson. Elizabeth, back to you.